17 PW uh, 20-4 Vestel type power supply. Uh, problem with it is that um, when I've been uh, measuring my 5 volts here, it was disappearing and shutting the set down after about two minutes uh, of running. And uh, also, all my other voltages, my 24 volts uh, supply, going out to my uh, going out to my uh, LCD screen that was disappearing as well. Um, so I started concentrating on this part of the power supply here. Let me see, can I get it? Make sure it's in the shot. Around here on the 5 volt transformer and start changing components on that. Uh, um, I thought maybe this chopper tr um, IC was uh, breaking down uh, on the primary side. Um, I couldn't see any reason why it was shutting down, but it led me astray. Um, there was nothing wrong with the uh, um, uh, 5 volt supply. It, if I went over here to the far side, uh, up here, Let's see, can I get a close shot of it? Around here, this uh, diode, it actually switches uh, one of these optocouplers. Uh, there's a couple of transistors it brings them down lows and what it actually does it takes the uh, takes down the uh, 24 volt supply and the 12 volt supply but somehow or another even though strangely i can't find it on the service manual um any link direct link between that and the uh, 5 volt supply that has to be somewhere but uh, as anyone that worked on vestel knows that the power supply schematics are a bit uh, bit of an experience I'm just going to show you the section of the schematic where uh, where it is. Here's this uh, section I've taken out of the uh, schematic. Um, uh, this is just one part of it. And you can see that Zener diode here. It doesn't give me a... a what uh, rating the Zener is, uh, all I can see here is C12V-SOD123. Um, what it is, I don't know. Um, all i done was I got one out of uh, another Vestel um, power supply I had here and I stuck it in its place because um, I don't have a bill of materials for this uh, um, type of uh, power supply. By heating around this area uh, and uh, using freezer is the only way I narrowed it down to this little small section here. Um, up to that I was totally in the wrong area. Uh, I replaced a lot of parts. Lucky enough I had a lot of old scrap um, boards uh, that had chopper transistor blown. Uh, it's common enough to, for the primary side of these to go up. Uh, it doesn't be this type of fault uh, tri uh, tripping as it gets warm. Um, there are two old boards. That I have two old boards on the bench, and uh, right there. Uh, but if we look inside at our our um, LCD um, that I have the power supply put in, um, you can see. From looking through there, the back lights are still up working. Right there, you can see that the, the lights shining through the uh, metal part of the rear of the, the screen. We can measure our uh, voltages on the board. Uh, what I did was I took out um, the switch. On this particular board, there's a switch, a uh, lead that goes off to a switch. I removed that lead so I was able to turn this board upside down and I just shorted out the uh, two terminals that the switch normally goes on. Actually up at the top end, I don't know if that's in the camera or not. Uh, one second, we'll just go there. 
there's the uh, short and the li uh, link I put on it. And you can see then the area then that can be the problem around this area. I'm not going to touch anything here. That's the diode right there. Uh, board has to be cleaned up yet uh, after all this all the work. Um, where I was measuring the 5 volts uh, supply is right here at this particular point. Um, just make sure it's in shot. Um, and I'm getting my 5.19 which is about 5.2 volts uh, staying steady uh, it's been running now for about an hour after me replacing that diode um, I'm not going to go into the full amount that uh, I replaced um, until I took a different direction um, the 5 volt line really really did throw me uh, down the wrong path uh, you can get your read your 24, uh, 24 volts uh, line from around here, this area here. There's also 12 volts. I'm just going to see it's down the shot. Pick that up around that particular point. Hope that uh, helps someone out there uh, that uh, has one of these tripping like that. It is an unusual fault uh, on one of these. And um, nine times out of ten, when I get these coming in, they're they're actually blowing up. There's a kit available um, for them that just replace uh, replace all the components in the kit, and away you go. But this one was just one of those that was a slight bit different. And um, thanks for watching.